Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders debating in just under three hours from now. We are live at the Brooklyn Navy Yard with the candidates getting ready for a very pivotal night. And also, we are live at the Republican Party's annual dinner in New York. The candidates, of course, will be there, all three prominent Republicans, and so will the GOP brass. Will this dinner turn into a food fight? Then Dominic on the ground in New York City for another political event. He caught up with Reverend Jesse Jackson, gets into the issue of the African-American vote and much more and why it's going to be going the black vote for Hillary rather than Bernie this time around. That one of the highlights of Sharpton's National Action Network conference were there as well. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to RFL. I feel a little lonely tonight. Richard French here. A busy Thursday evening. All the guys in the field. We will have the attorneys a little bit later on in the program talk about some key legal stories and cases in our neck of the woods. Now, the New York primary is just five days away, and Hillary and Bernie each spending a whole lot of time in this state and their campaigns. They're certainly taking different tones. Ahead of the Democratic debate tonight in Brooklyn, rivals Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders both hosting dueling rallies. Sanders firing up nearly 30,000 supporters in the Big Apple's historic Washington Square Park. There are a lot of people here tonight. A rock star welcome for the Vermont senator before taking aim at Clinton. If somebody gets paid 225000 for a speech, it must be an unbelievably extraordinary speech. A smaller and more low-key crowd at Clinton's rally in the Bronx, which lasted only 14 minutes. Clinton didn't really go after Sanders, instead focusing her attention on her likely Republican challenger. Unlike Donald Trump, we're not saying some people don't belong. We're not saying some people are not wanted. All right, so different tax, and the math speaks for itself. As of now, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, excuse me, maintaining a strong lead, not as big as it once was, but still in double digits. Now, each of the two right now preparing, obviously, for the last debate before New Yorkers vote. Conceivably, it could be the last debate of the primary process, depending on what happens Tuesday night. It's taking place, as I said, just a few hours from now at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. And that is where we find our own Fios One. Mike Gilliam is there. Mike, um, give a little scene setter. What are we uh, expecting here in just a few hours? Uh, it's pretty interesting out here, Rich. Right now you're seeing one of the ferries go back to Manhattan. That just dumped off a huge load of uh, supporters and people who are going to be watching this debate. You know, this is the Brooklyn Navy Yard. They used to build warships here, but tonight we're looking for a different type of battle. It's going to be Hillary Clinton duking it out with Bernie Sanders for the last time before the primary next Tuesday. And already a lot of the supporters are showing up here to kind of push their, their person on. I'm with her! I'm with her! Long before the candidates and the crowds arrive, supporters for both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders letting their feelings be known. Both sides know this battle in Brooklyn is extremely important. For Secretary Clinton, it's a chance to slow a surging Senator Sanders and show she deserves the nomination. How important, though, is this particular debate? Do you think that she can put away Bernie Sanders here tonight? Absolutely. I think every single debate she's done, she's shown us that she is the most prepared, the most ready, the person who uh, can get into office on day one and take this country to where it needs to be. How concerned are you about Bernie Sanders and his campaign? Last night he says he has 27,000 people out. Well, I, I have all the respect in the world for Senator Sanders, but I also see the excitement in the volunteers. I walk in our office every day, uh, and that makes me think that we're in a really good place here in New York. Sanders, who needs to make up delicate ground, needs a good showing after having a tough time explaining how he would implement key proposals. Much has been said and written about Sanders' ideas on the economy and income inequality being unworkable. But supporter Dal LaMagna owns a company here at the Navy Yard called Ice Stone Countertops. He says proves some of Senator Sanders' ideas work. This company is a company that would be in Bernie heaven. The employees of Ice Stone are part owners of the company, and they're paid a living wage, they're embedded in every level of decision making, they share in the profits. 
So that's a little bit different. That's a business owner who says he's all in for Bernie Sanders. The debate starts at 9 o'clock tonight and will last for two hours. And uh, we expect to see some fireworks take place. And Rich, as you said, this is a very pivotal uh, debate that could play a big role in what happens next Tuesday. At the Brooklyn Navy Yard, Mike Gilliam for RFL. Back to you, Rich. And Mike, if you could, um, just to give an idea for the landscape for folks, the Brooklyn Navy Yard, and among the themes that Bernie Sanders expected to touch on today, uh, the Iraq War, uh, trade, but also Wall Street, and just as a vantage point, if he wanted to, he could point uh, from where he is to where Wall Street is. It, it, give an idea where the Brooklyn Navy Yards are, and, and it's certainly the attacks against Hillary Clinton with their connections to Wall Street, but also Wall Street as maybe an institution that's done very well even in the economic downturn. That's going to be a big part of this evening, isn't it? I think that it will. I think that he will definitely try to land blows as far as Hillary Clinton is concerned and those connections to Wall Street. This is in the shadows of Wall Street, over on the Brooklyn side, a much more progressive area than the, uh, the Wall Street area, which some say is very conservative. But I believe that he will definitely try to land blows as far as that is concerned. And he, does this whole thing about some business people actually supporting what he's saying, I found that to be a real surprise. Yeah, I don't know if uh, that speaks for most business owners, but nonetheless, interesting. Uh, Mike, great job, and I know we're going to be checking with you, in with you on Fox 1 throughout the evening. And again, one of the key constituencies um, is the African-American vote. And you can certainly argue when you look at the southern states throughout the Democratic primaries, they have been a constituency that Hillary Clinton has been able to rely on, and they have been there in her corner. Certainly, Bernie Sanders has tried to, throughout this process, try and court some of the minority vote here to support also some of the youth vote that he's gotten. To this point, it hasn't been big enough to dent what looks like a probable nomination when it's all said and done for Hillary Clinton, but he's made a lot of efforts in the last week to change that narrative. We'll be checking in with Dominic Carter later on that very subject with particular focus on the African-American vote. But next, we pivot to the Republicans, where Trump, Cruz, and Kasich will all be in New York City this evening for a Republican dinner. Now, they're fighting for delegates, and they're also fighting each other. Trump, he's fighting with the GOP itself. It should be making for what will be a very interesting dinner. Andrew Whitman is on the ground. We'll be checking in with him right after this quick commercial break.